Today we are reviewing the final, the last, the best Whitney Simmons x Gymshark collaboration. This is her fifth collab with Gymshark. I have reviewed all but the fourth because the fourth came out and it was just kind of like new colors of the third version. So I thought I could skip it and here we are with the last. I honestly can't believe she had five collections with them. I am happy about it though because I feel like the Whitney Gymshark collections are the best collections from Gymshark. I feel like she really pushes their boundaries in the designs. While it might not be my most reached for gym stuff, I do think the designs are super cute and I'm always excited to try out her collections. Somehow we kind of saw this collection coming because I just did my best hidden scrunch leggings in the leggings that inspired that entire video were the Whitney Gymshark V2 leggings. The first time I ever saw that little hidden scrunch, a little elastic in the back right seam. I feel like Gymshark and Whitney were the first to do it, but it's very possible that I just didn't see the very first people to do it. I feel like I'm just a little bit disappointed in this collection just because there's not the variety of stuff we've seen in her previous launches. There's only one pair of leggings, only one like bra slash top, and then there's a lot of lounge stuff. I feel like in a lot of the other collections we saw multiple leggings, a couple shorts, a bra, and more like a long line top option. So it seems like all the collections are getting just a little bit smaller. And it's a miracle we're even doing this review today because I had class when the launch was happening. Luckily it was a class I could be on my computer on because finally it was an 8 a.m. PST launch instead of like an 11 a.m. And at the 11 a.m. launches, I always had Ian, my boyfriend, shop for me because I was usually seeing patients, luckily 8 a.m. before clinic starts, so I could do a little shopping. But place a whole order, heart was racing because I'm used to these launches being super crazy, but actually they've done a much better job. The V1, V2 Whitney was like madness, not enough stock at all, and just like sold out within seconds but all of the other collections have been a much easier time. Anyway, so placed the whole order. I was like, oh, we did it. We got everything I wanted. Then two minutes later, I get an email that said my order was canceled because they thought it was fraud. They said it might be an issue with my payment information, even though I use Shop Pay, which I always do. And I have a Gymshark account and everything was the same. I've made so many Gymshark orders. So that was a stressful moment. I had to get on and place an entire new order. Thankfully, that one didn't cancel, but I posted on my Instagram story and apparently this happened to a lot of you guys. Some of you guys, every single one of your orders was canceled like three or four times, so you just gave up. So there's always gotta be some issue with the Gymshark launch. Anyways, I did get my order. I got a lot of stuff. And I'm filming this on Sunday and the launch was on Thursday. So A plus with the fast shipping. Without further ado, why don't we do a little walk down memory lane with all the Whitney Gymshark pieces. So I am wearing, I believe this is the Whitney Gymshark V3 sports bra. I always thought this was a super cute design with the little wrap detail, the mesh. This one had a good amount of coverage for the girls. We had the gold bar logo. I do have my very original the OG Whitney V1 leggings. These ones, looking back, the quality was not there. Like they have made a lot of improvements. I never think that Gymshark makes like really great non-seamless leggings. Like I feel like their seamless leggings are their better leggings. These ones were just not it. Like the fabric just feels like kind of flimsy, not great. The seams were so bulky. They were not yet flat lock seams. So they had all this like material on the inside. At the time it was good, but I feel like now you know, we've come a long way. They had a the little laser cut detail in the back. There was no scrunch in these, so we didn't have as much cheek separation. And I feel like the Whitney Gymshark leggings have always been very short. Like, look at this. This is capri length, okay? As a 5'9 girl, it just doesn't cut it for me. And I've only worn these a couple times, but you can see the seams are kind of pulling apart on these. So I just kind of keep these um, for historical purposes at this point, you know, just like an artifact. I don't wear them anymore, but we have them. And then the original Gymshark Whitney bra. I did like this one, had the little cutout. It's a beautiful day to be alive. The little ring in the back. Guess I took the cut pads out of this one. I think this bra ran kind of small, so my girls are pressed up to the chin and you know what? Just couldn't handle the cut pads in there. And then I believe this was Whitney Gymshark V2 where we had two different leggings. They upgraded the leggings. The material feels better on these. They finally had flat lock seams and we finally got that hidden scrunch. This is what really just took the collection over the top for me. Like, and Gymshark has continued to bring this back. It's a little scrunch in the back where I seam, just gives a little glute separation, but you don't get any scrunching. So very subtle. Still have the laser cut detail though. The sizing of the Whitney collections has always been a little off for me. I always feel like it runs just like a tiny bit small. So today I did get a small and medium in the leggings and sports bras. We also had the ribbed Whitney leggings. Never was a fan of these. Um, I just didn't really feel like the waistband made a lot of sense. It was a ribbed material, but it really just didn't give a lot of compression either. Wasn't a big fan of these. I also am really glad we no longer have <laughs> this logo. This logo for a lot of people ended up peeling off. I literally have not worn these in years. So like 
how is it gonna peel off? But you know, I just, I thought the gold bar was a little bit better. And then V3, like the sports bra I'm wearing, I feel like these were the best yet. Still had the details like the little hidden scrunch in the back, but they got rid of the laser cut, which I feel like was cute. They kept it simple. They brought the gold bar back, which I just feel like is classier than the little cursive logo. Still a little short though. So then we move on to the Whitney Gymshark V5. Okay, so these are the Gymshark Whitney Everyday Pocket Leggings. These are in leaf green. I thought this color was gonna go really fast. Guys, they basically still had stock like an hour after the launch in almost every color. So these were $56, which is actually a little bit cheaper, I believe, than they used to be. Gymshark is definitely like that mid price point. I wouldn't consider them like super high end. And I got a size small, hoping this fits. And oh, guys, like they just saved the best for last. I really feel like this is the best logo they've had. We did without the gold and we just went with tonals. And if there's something I love, it's a good tonal. So here's the logo. You got that little shark. It's a little silicone and it just says Whitney Simmons. Still a little nod to Miss Whitney, but it's not the cursive gold cheapness, you know? Also, this is their first time doing a pocket legging, which this is why I was surprised in the size of the collection. I just thought that they would maybe do like a regular legging and a pocket legging, but alas, we only have one. So as usual, no front seam, kind of a little paneled waistband. It looks like it kind of dips down a little bit in the front. They always have a little stitch at the top of the waistband, but it's not an elastic or anything thick that really cuts into you. I feel like it's just like a thickening of the waistband to provide a little extra tummy control. As usual, we have an extended crotch guess it. I can occasionally get some camel issues in the Whitney Gymshark leggings just because of the material but we'll talk about that when it's on. Again we have the side pockets and we have the hidden scrunch in the back. My stitching is looking slightly questionable right above the scrunch there, but again, still better than what it was. And the material on the Whitney Gymshark leggings is like a very, very slightly brushed. It's almost more on the performance side, but just has a teeny bit of brushness to it. So it's not gonna be the softest leggings you've ever felt. It's not brushed on the inside, so they're a little more sleek on the inside. Personally, I like when a legging is brushed on the inside because I feel like that gives it a little more grip so it doesn't slide down. Definitely on like the thinner side of leggings and we'll measure the seam as well, but it still looks maybe a little short. I would have loved for them to come out with two lengths just because they're always so short. Like why are, why are they always so short? And then just because the sizing has been a little questionable in the past, I did also get a medium in the leggings. I feel like these are probably going to be a little bit big, especially in the waist here, but I also got the cement brown. A little comparison with the taupe color I have on. Definitely a little bit darker, a little more brown leaning, but it's a very neutral brown. I always love the neutrals that she chooses. Okay, here I was thinking the medium would be my size. The small, it's actually fitting really well. Really not compressing me too much in any areas. So I would definitely stay true to size, but if you're in between sizes, I would pick the size up. So we have a nice high rise. The band at the top really does not cut in. Like even if I wanted it to really cut in, it just doesn't like have that constricting effect. Pockets are very spacious, no front seam. And we talk about this with the mediums as well, but I don't know if it's because of the scrunch in the back or what, but in this little gusset area, if it ever sits too far forward, it does kind of like settle into the creases a little bit. It feels a little bit better on these V5s than it did in some of the other ones, but I definitely have heard of a lot of people with the Whitney leggings causing a little bit of camel. So just be aware of that. Very thin leggings, so really not a lot of cellulite coverage, flattering on the glutes. This is without really adjusting that back seam at all, but it just does give a little bit of extra contouring. I just, I always wish that these leggings just had a little bit more stretch to them. They just feel like they really have an end point to the stretch. And if they were a little stretch here, we could get a lot more glute separation, but they still are definitely medium to high on the booty scale. Again, these are never quite long enough for me, kind of like almost, they're not even really seven eighths. They're almost, they're almost reaching like mid calf length. But yeah, these are definitely feeling like solid leggings. Again, I'm not a huge Gymshark legging fan, but if I had to pick a Gymshark legging, it would definitely be the Whitney ones. I should say that I actually do like a thinner fabric, but the fabric of these leggings, like Gymshark just doesn't really have their non-seamless materials down. It's not like a naked feel thin fabric. It does lack a little bit of stretch. Like you can't quite pull it up the glutes. It does kind of settle weirdly into the crotch area sometimes. So while I do like the design and some of the elements, the fabric could just be a little bit better. Not me thinking the mediums are gonna be like huge and then they actually might fit really well. I just, I remember in the past, the small Whitney Gymsharks compared to other Gymshark smalls, just like we're always a little snug. So here are the mediums. So definitely feeling comfortable in the leg here. Um, overall, these are giving like a light to medium compression. I'm sure the smalls will be more. Um, really not a lot of waistband compression, but that's pretty expected because 
my waist is usually a size small and this is a medium. So I'm liking the little dip down in the front. You're still not getting a ton of lower tummy control because it's just not going super far, but maybe a little more than the past collections. Again, it has a little seam at the top, but it's really not cutting in anywhere. We have those decently spacious side pockets, so definitely can fit a phone. A lot of seam detail. I don't usually like like a seam that crosses the thigh just because I feel like it can have a chance of like cutting in, but because this is going in the front of the thigh, it's usually better than the back for me. I could definitely feel like this one would slide down a little bit because it's the medium. So we'll see how the small is. And then, okay. Okay, seams going above the glutes. I can always count on Whitney to make sure the leggings are flattering on the glutes because she loves a good glute separation moment like I do. Seams going above the glutes, we have that little scrunch. So we're gonna give a medium to high in the booty scale. Subtle logo in the back. These are pretty thin, so I really would not expect any cellulite coverage. And then the length, not only are Gymshark leggings usually like an awkward nearly capri length on me, but because they're meant to go down lower, they kind of squish my like, ankles down a little bit like got a little bit of meat down here still so we're getting a little bit squished so um these could definitely be longer for me and then they're always no front seam but something about the fabric of the whitney leggings they like to create a little bit of a situation in the gusset area so you know if i stand like this you guys can kind of see not horrible but you know i just i don't really know how whitney doesn't wear any underwear with these. I would just be eating things up if that were the case. Next, we have the Whitney Longline Bra. I got this one in a leaf green size small. I actually prefer shorter sports bras, so like the V3 Whitney bra that I'm wearing right now, which is why I would have wished she came out with this and a shorter sports bra, but we only have the long line in this collection. It looks super cute though. I love little detailing like this, that kind of like contouring under the bust, as long as it truly sits under the bust and doesn't creep up above, you know? This feels like it's definitely going to be more large cup size friendly than some of her bras in the past. Some of them I definitely felt like I didn't quite fit into 100%. And the cup pads on this bra look huge. Wow. <laughs> okay, so with these cup pads, I really had to sit here and adjust them quite a bit. And you can still kind of see the end of the cup pad at the bottom. But this cup pad was like perfectly designed to this top. I just feel like that's a little extra effort that they had not been going into in previous collections. So I love that. We have a little like almost mesh detail down here. It's not a true mesh, but it's a little more lightweight. The straps in the back are adjustable. See, I love when straps like this are adjustable, but I don't necessarily always need like a clasp in the back, especially on a sports bra that's like this. Like unless it's like true like molded cups, I don't really need the adjustable back, but you know, nice to have. Looks like we have three options and two hooks here. <laughs> Guys, this, I've never seen, I've never seen a warning like this on a tag before. Keep away from fire. They don't want you burning your Whitney Gymshark, guys. They don't want you burning it. Like, that's such a weird, <laughs> a weird warning. And here's a close-up of the fabric. You almost wouldn't even really tell that it's brushed. It just kind of takes away some of the shine. The only thing about this cup pad is it's going to be an interesting journey to put this back in. Okay, I just... I was not expecting the bra to really be as large cup size friendly. A lot of the past Whitney collections, I really feel like they were a little more for the smaller cup size girlies. You know, Whitney, she loves a little cleavage moment. She's a little more small on the chest size. So just impressed with the amount of coverage with this one. So this is the small. I do prefer this to the medium. The medium just wasn't quite compressive enough. I actually would say if you're in between sizes that I would size down because there's always a little bit of flexibility with the clasping in the back and I'm just not feeling super compressed. Overall coverage is a medium, just a little tiny bit of side boob. We do have a little cleavage moment here, but definitely no chance of falling out. I might even be able to tighten the straps a little bit. We're getting about a medium support, but just good coverage. And with the size of these cup pads, they're not visible anywhere. A lot of times with cup pads, you just get like a little round one that goes like right over here. And then you can see the edges, but this one goes like all the way up here, all the way to the bottom and all the way into the sides. So it's really not visible. The only thing about the cup pads is like on this side, it's doing okay. I'm not noticing anything, but this side, you can kind of see it's like wanting to poke out just like a little bit there. So I would have preferred if they like rounded the edges of the cup pads a little bit. Potentially if I adjusted this enough, that might not be a problem in the end. We have those little mesh panels on the bottom, the little curved bust detail. Again, it sits under the bust, so it's not a problem. I have this on the loosest setting. It's really not super compressive on the bottom, so I can tighten that up to the tightest setting. Um, very subtle logo here. 
long line, but not crazy long. And then again, like we just saw, we have the adjustable straps in the back as well as the hook closure. So I actually think it's a super cute top. I feel like generally I like the Whitney tops more than the leggings. I was just wearing the V3 bra and it had that little seam in the corner here that would irritate me. But this one doesn't have any prominent seams that I think would cut into me. So it seems like a more comfortable style top. And just because we got a medium in the leggings, we also got a medium in the cement brown sports bra. So let's try her on. Okay, so just threw on the medium. I did put this at the tightest setting in the back here. Um, the medium's definitely like too large for me. So I have, as you can see, like a lot of wrinkling in the fabric here. Um, the cup pads also, since they're so big, which I feel like this would be a lot if you're like a medium, but a small cup size. Like this cup pad size is just like so big, but it definitely is kind of protruding out the ends here. So definitely stick true to size on this one. Coverage is still pretty good. I feel like the medium would have been okay if the cup pads weren't so large. But they've never said the cup pads are too large for me before, so I'm surprised. But yeah, the little band at the bottom does help to make the bottom snug, even though this is a size too big for me. So I figured I would do a little workout test for this collection. Um, not really thinking anything of it. Started getting a little loose string um, while working out. And then it ended up like this. So the entire bottom seam of the sports bra, like all the way across the bra has come out and it just like keeps going. Just has completely fallen apart. Like none of my Whitney collections have ever done this. So I was definitely not expecting that. I'm always hesitant of Gymshark and the quality and this just is the icing on the cake. I'm sure Gymshark will take care of it. Their customer service is really good, but I actually liked this top and now I can't wear it. There's a couple other things as well, like just some little like, unfinished seams kind of thing but this is disappointing okay and then we got the whitney short sleeve crop top i don't know if i've ever gotten my hands on one of the whitney oversized tees but i feel like people really loved those with past collections so i'm kind of surprised to only see like a form-fitting crop personally with the long line tank that we already have i don't really know if like a form-fitting crop was like the best thing to complement it because you kind of already had a top but she's here it looks like the same material as the leggings we got the little whitney simmons very subtly on the left sleeve here and i'm actually not a huge fan of little tops like this i don't know i just feel like they're so so tight that if i'm gonna wear a little crop over a sports bra i like something a little more flowy a little bit easier to get on and off at the gym when you know i get a little warm but yeah i did get a small this might be a little snug on the girls so let's try it on okay so here's the crop this is a size small Definitely a like body contouring snug fit. Um, the short sleeves are actually a little bit longer than I expected. I feel like normally it's like a cap sleeve that goes to kind of the middle of my shoulder here, but it's definitely, it's almost like mid arm length. And then here's my issue with this top. If you're wearing any other color of the Whitney tanks under this, this is where the top ends and the tank long line bra goes underneath it. So that's why I don't really understand this top as the choice for the collection, just because you can't really wear this easily over the tank. I feel like it just looks a little weird. Um, it would just be better if we had like a more flowy, larger tee or a shorter bra. Here it is with the arms raised, same material as the leggings. It's very lightweight and you really don't need to size up in this one if you want it to be snug. I've tried on some Gymshark size small little cropped tees like this that were so snug that my girls were like pancaked down. This one, while it's snug, I'm not feeling that like high, high compression. So I think generally true to size. And then we have the Gymshark Whitney dress. When Whitney said she was coming out with an active dress, I was thinking it would be like, you know, a little built-in bra with the built-in bodysuit underneath and like more of like a flowy sail dress. Just something that, you know, you can actually wear for activity. This one, it's more of an athleisure dress. So I was really hoping for more of an active dress that, you know, we could be pickleballing or something in, but no, she is a bodycon dress. So I just feel like I'm not gonna love it that much because of that, just because I never really end up wearing my like bodycon dresses very much. I don't know, especially the ones that are made out of workout material, it just never feels right. So some things I like about this dress. So it has the top structure of the long line bra. So it's got those nice cut pads in there. So you don't have to wear a bra under this, which is nice. It has adjustable straps as well. So it looks a bit more sporty on the top, but then as you go down, it has some contouring stitching to kind of, you know, 
accentuate a little hourglass and then tapers a little bit at the bottom. So again, it just has that little bra on the top, but there are no shorts or anything. So it's not really something I would suggest actually working out in. I do like the little contour detailing under here. It has that same little like lighter mesh. I think that mesh is very similar to the mesh in the V3 bra right underneath there. Let's give it a try. Here is the dress. Definitely a snug little bodycon fit. I'm wearing a size small and I would say it fits me really well. Really no gaping anywhere. A couple things I like about this dress. First of all, um, it's just nice to have a top section where you don't have to wear a bra with it. I will say I wish it had like a little elastic right here under the bust just to kind of give a little more support. Most of the support is just coming from the general like compression of the top as well as the tightness of the straps but there's not a lot of like under boob compression and lift so if you're like a very large cup size you might not feel super supported in this still have the nice big cup pads to really give you a lot of coverage up there that little mesh panel here the seams really do try to give you like an hourglass look and i think this is actually a really good length of midi dress some of them when they end like right here they're just destined to slide up to just be right under your glutes and I definitely like a little bit longer of a dress just so it doesn't move around and kind of walking around my apartment in this dress it is staying down very well I think something that contributes to it staying down so well is that it's very tapered at the bottom of the dress like it wants you to stand like this you know but because of that it just kind of keeps it nice and like in place on the bottom but definitely you feel a little bit of tightness when you move your legs out to the side again the material of all of this is very thin so even with my seamless underwear in some lights you can kind of see it so it's definitely going to show every little detail so if you're looking for something for a little more coverage maybe go with like the black option the screen is not going to cover very much and then here's the back there really are not a lot of details oh yeah okay you do have adjustable straps in the back so that's nice but again it's like workout on the top and then like party on the bottom. I would struggle to have a place to wear this, but it's cute, it's comfy. I like a lot of details about it. It's just, again, like a lot of pieces in this collection, not entirely sure where I would wear it, but I do appreciate them pushing the boundaries of Gymshark, you know, coming out with a dress. Maybe next time an active dress with some built-in shorts and a little more flowy. We'll love to see that. So that's it for the active wear pieces. Now we're making our way into the lounge and she came out with an eyelash knit type fabric this time. So I've tried eyelash types of fabrics before, normally for like sweaters and things, like not really so much lounge, but you know, I'm always here for a cozy vibe. I feel like I heard some like mixed feelings on this one. It's probably not like my go-to choice for lounge, but I was a little worried that it would be like a super plush eyelash kind of fabric. And then when you have fabrics like that, especially in something like a short, if you sit on it a lot, it'll definitely like, you know, kind of mat down where you're sitting, but it is a more compressed eyelash than I thought. So here's the eyelash. I feel like it's almost like not fluffy enough. I, was, I know I was just saying that if it's too fluffy, it'll squish down, but it's almost like not fuzzy enough, you know? I do appreciate that it's actually very, very dense and I'm not really seeing like a lot of light come through it. So it is super dense. So with a top like this, this is the halter top. You could do no bra under this and not be at risk of any like nips showing through. Personally, I don't know how I'm gonna go no bra under this because it just doesn't really have any support for me. And that's just not really something I reach for. Anyways, let's start out with the eyelash shorts. See, I just feel like if you like fold these the wrong way like this isn't coming out it just leaves wrinkles like really imprinted into this like in the front too so I haven't reviewed a lot of the Whitney lounge stuff because like in the past a lot of the joggers and all that like sold out very quickly but this I'm just not super sure I was also worried because this is an elastic waistband and elastic waistbands are very hard to get right fit wise so this is either going to be super loose and gaping on me or it's going to be super tight and like squeezing into me. So we have the shorts, these were $46. I got a size small. Um, it looks like this fabric is pretty stretchy, so I'm not really concerned about like too much thigh compression. There really are no seams on this. Oh, actually there definitely is a front seam. Like I feel it, but it's all covered by the eyelash. I keep saying eyelash, like Philly eyelash, no eyelash it's all covered by the eyelash fabric and then you know it seems like a decent length and then people also have been wearing this kind of rolled down so let's give it a try okay so here are the shorts i have to say they are super cozy like this eyelash material is very soft i was a little worried it could be itchy but it's really not um i love that these are a biker length i feel like for lounge shorts 
Usually I expect kind of a looser fit, but these are like a snug biker type fit. Also the waistband is pretty good on me. So I would say generally that these are true to size, but if you're wanting a little more loungy of a fit, a little more relaxed, definitely go for a size up. Front seam here is not a problem. Definitely thick thigh friendly down here, lots of stretch. I don't necessarily have like a problem with them. I'm not entirely sure where I would wear this together. In the pink, it is super like cozy, cutesy, girly vibes. So I do like that. Um, I just, you know, like where would I really wear this? And you can roll down this waistband again so without rolling it down it's a nice high rise with rolling it down maybe like mid to high but they advertise rolling it down like this and i just feel like that kind of like i don't know almost kind of gets rid of some of that like cutesy fuzzy look because it's like a shiny elastic waistband so personally i would not wear it like that again I could love like a little pocket in here somewhere, but because they are so snug, that would be a little bit of a challenge. Then not much shape going onto the glutes in the back. I'm really not even gonna rate these on the booty scale because I don't really think that makes sense for a lounge short. But yeah, it, it actually is super cozy. I could definitely see this as a little lounge set, but I wish that maybe there's a better top option because I do like the support of this bra up here, but with the shorts, I just, I don't really lounge in like a sports bra at home. So it does not seem like the eyelash stuff has been like fuzzing off and coming off like it feels pretty like ingrained into the fabric like you're not really able to like pick off any fuzzies which also is good so this is the eyelash midi knit halter top definitely like a lifestyle rest day kind of vibe and the logo on the back is like a sewn on little like silk logo with some silicone so here is the logo and let's try it on okay so the halter this one is just definitely not my thing. Um, first of all, this is a nice thick fabric and it's a more of a snug fit, but there's just no support for the girls. Um, you can't really get much support. Maybe if I size down, it's snug, but I'm not getting a lot of compression. So we're not even gonna rate this on a support rating because there's just no support there. The straps are technically adjustable because you just tie them yourself. Oh my gosh, Gymshark is going off with the tags lately, guys. They include this little tag bouquet in like everything that they do. You can never cut it off directly to the base. So it suggests you cut it on this little cut line right there. But if you do that, then you're left with like a sharp little portion of the tags sticking right into you. Gymshark, it is 2023 now. Tear away tags, tear away tags. That's what we need. This just keeps bothering me. Like literally every piece in this collection has that. So this one is just single layered. The bandeau was actually a double layer. So this one, you do have a little bit of chance for nippage. It is technically cropped, but it's a longer length crop. So with the shorts for me, and this is coming from someone with a long torso, you can look like you're wearing a bodysuit. So I'm still gonna say that it's cropped, but it's just definitely a longer crop. Yeah, this one's just not really gonna be um, a go-to for me because I'm not feeling any support and you really can't wear a bra under it. And then here is the eyelash knit bandeau. This one is the most like a sports bra. So it's got some little elastic straps. Missed an opportunity to make these straps adjustable. Like they were adjustable on the sports bra. Why not on the bandeau? Very thick, definitely feels like double lined. This one has an elastic at the bottom of the bandeau, much like the elastic that's in the shorts. So I feel like this one will function more as a bra. There's no cut pads or anything in this though, but honestly, it's like a very, very thick fabric. Here's the thickness of the fabric. So really no need for any additional padding or anything. Okay, so here's the bandeau top. I'm actually surprised by how secure I feel in this. So I do like that it has that elastic at the bottom. Um, the material is very thick. So again, it's a little cold in here and we're not seeing any nippage because it's nice and thickened, but there are no cup pads. Just kind of straight up and down elastic straps. They're a little bit on the snug side for me, which gives me a little more lift, but I really just wish that the little straps were adjustable. And then the back is very plain. Overall, the coverage is about medium to full coverage. Um, the only place where I'm not entirely covered is a little bit at the top here, but I feel like it just gives a little cute peek almost at some cleavage and support is like, it's like medium support. It's actually not bad, but again, I wouldn't suggest working out in this. It's a little bit weird having your nips like directly against the like fuzzy type of fabric like this. I feel like some of the fuzziness could be like kind of poke you in a way. So I'm just not sure I would really wear this a whole lot. And then we got the eyelash knit jacket. So everything in this collection I felt like was decently reasonably priced, like within 40 and $50 range. Yeah, everything in the eyelash collection so far has been like under $47, like 40 to 46. The Whitney dress was 66, which is definitely the most expensive thing. And then all of a sudden we get the Whitney eyelash jacket. 
and it's $78. Just feels like a big jump from everything else. I don't know guys, something about this color in the jacket, is that doing it for me? It's nice and thick, seems like kind of like a midi length, which I like, it's a full zip. I don't really love these little ring type zippers. I just feel like sometimes they can come across a little bit cheap. So I think I would have liked just like a regular zipper action going on. Do we have any pockets? <gasps> There's no pockets? I'm not that big of a pocket girl, but when it comes to jackets, but when it comes to jackets, we need pockets. Like where am I gonna put my hands when they're cold? Gotta have some pockets. So very disappointed to see there's no pockets. Um, let's give this a try. Let's get this little jacket on. So it's a pretty good match with the cement brown. So I got a small on this one and um, it's looking like just like a slightly, very slightly relaxed fit. So I would say true to size, but if you wanted it to be a little bit um, more oversized, I would definitely size up because it's not like super baggy. I would say, you know, sometimes these fabrics can be, oh buddy, do I match Pinto in this? I think I gotta do. Oh, look, and I'm just like you and I'm also furry because I have my eyelash fabric. Pinto hasn't made an appearance in a while. Anyways, I feel like sometimes fabrics like this can almost be itchy, but this one is feeling soft to me. Um, actually pretty good quality zipper. I'm not getting it stuck anywhere. I just wish it didn't have a little ring here. Love the length on this. You guys know if you are a consistent watcher of my videos, I love a nice jacket that hits right at the top of the hip bones. Like it's not cropped, but it still is able to give your body like a little more shape, kind of define your waist a little bit more. So I love a good length like this. You have a little mock neck. I just feel like I wouldn't wear this a whole lot. It's this ring little thing for me. I just am not a big fan. Again, wish it had pockets. Um, it's cute. I just, for the most expensive things in the collection, probably not worth it for me. Then here is a few of the back and then also with it zipped down. And then the last thing, the Whitney oversized eyelash knit sweater. See, this one is $10 cheaper than the jacket. Why is that? This one didn't come in a lot of colors. Oh my gosh, okay, this is interesting. So this is a small, it's, it's very heavy. Like I was saying, I do have a sweater and an eyelash fabric from another brand. It might be Abercrombie, but it might be something else. It's just a fluffier eyelash fabric, like the eyelash part. I can't say eyelash this many times, guys. It's really messing me up. It's just fuzzier, you know? And this just seems so dense and almost a little shiny. Like, am I cosplaying a black cat? is this Halloween. You know, I don't mind looking like a black cat because I do like cats. We have a little ribbed detail at the end of this sleeve here. This one I believe is kind of like a boat neck. I feel like Whitney loves a little off the shoulder moment, but it's very long. So I feel like this one kind of sold out pretty quickly. I don't know, I don't know, something about it. It's giving, I can't quite place what this fabric kind of reminds me of, but it's almost like, like a doormat, you know? Like, I'm not saying it's horrible. It's giving like, the material of those doormats where you like wipe your feet off on because it's like such a dense like wiry texture that's what i'm getting with this let's try it on guys like i'm not crazy right like it's looking like shiny and like kind of stiff i don't know especially this black color not a big fan so here's the oversized um eyelash sweater just really just not loving the fit of this. I, lo I understand a little off the shoulder action, not my go-to style just because you really gotta think about the straps you're wearing underneath. And it's not like that oversized. It just has kind of like an extended like bat wing look kind of thing. Again, with the Halloween jokes, I don't know guys. Nice long sleeves on this one. I just feel like this specific eyelash fabric that they chose is just better suited for like a more snug look like with the shorts and the bandeau because as soon as you get it into this kind of oversized shape it just kind of like stiffens up and it's not really good for that this was also very long again one of the more expensive pieces of the collection not it's not it for me i would have much preferred like an oversized hoodie like a more classic like sweat lounge kind of vibe okay guys that's it for the review so in general i just would have liked to see a couple more options in this collection but i did think they did a good job on the pocket leggings and the long line bra but a lot of the other pieces i don't generally see like where i would wear them i feel a little bit out of place but nothing was really like bad in this collection all the other collections i either really didn't like the logo we had some major issues with the seams or the sports bras or something but i definitely feel like this is her best collection again didn't turn me into a gymshark stan or anything if there's anything I would keep from this collection it would be the sports bra and the leggings but I just know myself and I'm really not constantly reaching towards my Whitney Gymshark stuff really any of my Gymshark stuff but you know what I'm saying give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far and comment down below what you'd like to see next thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye